Welcome back everyone. Now I know in the last video I said that that was the last video, but that's not true anymore. Somebody actually reminded me that I think I said in one of the videos that I'm going to do some animation uh, stuff in Unity and I never did it. <laughs> so I actually have here, this was given to me, this really nice uh, 12 frame explosion animation that I'm just going to quickly pop into the game and you can get a real quick feel for how animations work and having animation events uh, trigger certain things. So this is more or less a quick tips video, but also just a bonus video for anyone who liked the shoot 'em up series. So, so let's get it going here. I'm just going to go ahead and make a folder to hold all this stuff here. So folder explosion. All right. Now I'm going to drag all these frames in there. Done. Okay. So here I got my explosion frames. Let me take a look at them. Everything looks like it's set up correctly. I'm not really sure about the pixels per unit. I'll have to check it out. But in case you've never worked with animations in Unity, when it comes to 2D animations, sprite-based frame-by-frame animations, it's actually really simple to at least get started with it. So all you need to do is just select all of your frames and just drag them all into the scene. And then it asks you, hey, do you want to create an animation? And I say, yes, uh, I put it in the explosion folder there and I'm just going to call this explosion as well. And there it is. And if I were to play the scene, the animation should just play, All right? And there it is. And it's actually a good size. It's a good speed. So we really don't have to do any extra work. Uh, if you did have to do any extra work, when you select this explosion, that's the animator, this is the animation and you go to window animation, animation. There you have kind of your timeline. You can kind of look over the explosion. Uh, can I press this? If I select this? Yeah. Okay. So there I can kind of, you can kind of see it in the scene there. Kind of going over it here. All right. So what I really want to do is um, I want to make it so that when one of the enemy ships explode or well, when our ship explodes, it's going to reset the scene. So I'm not really going to worry about that. Uh, but when any of the enemy ships explode, I want them to basically just be replaced by this cool explosion animation. And that's actually pretty simple. So I'm just going to close this for now, but just rename this, whatever you want this to be named in the end, because this is going to end up, I'm going to drag this over here. This is going to be a prefab into the explosion folder. And then the things that all of our enemies are, are these destructibles. So they'll need a reference to this guy. So let's go into destructible here and let's say game objects explosion. And we'll make that public so we can set that. All right, so we'll go to our enemy types, two, three, four, yeah. And where is here? Explosion. We'll go to explosion there. So now they should all have explosion, explosion, explosion. Okay, cool. From here, it's pretty simple. We can delete this one in the scene here. Uh, let's go back to the code. Basically, all right, so remove destructible, destroy, remove destructible, destroy. I'm just going to make that one method call here. Yeah. So that's just going to be void uh, die, uh, destroy ship. How about that? And I'm going to go here, do that. Copy this, remove destructible, destroy right here. And call destroy ship instead. Uh, I should probably call that destroy destructible. We don't really know if it's a ship destructible, even though it's always a ship. We haven't made anything else. There we go. Destroy destructible, destroy destructible. And then we're also just going to go ahead and say that on top of that, we want to instantiate a game object of this explosion type. We're going to put it in the same position position and we're going to put it at whatever its natural rotation is identity, and that would do that however once we do that that explosion is going to end up in the scene and it's just going to keep exploding over and over because that's what it's designed to do uh, it's just a repeating animation so what i'm going to do here is we're going to have to create a new script for the explosion 
that's just in the root folder here. Create script explosion animation. And the only thing it needs, doesn't need this stuff. It really just needs a, a method that's gonna be named the same as what the explosion animation is gonna actually know about. So, hmm, what should I do first? I guess just this. Uh, so we want basically after one run of the animation, just go ahead and remove the explosion animation game object completely. So this is basically just going to be uh, uh, explosion done. How about that? Explosion done. And that's just going to destroy this game object. And you don't have to call it from anywhere. There's actually some work that Unity does with animations that allows you to call this function directly from the animation itself. Uh, it's called an animation event, I think. So if we go over to this explosion here, and we can basically tell it uh, to call a function animation to call a function from the timeline. So we'll just go to like right after the very last frame, add animation event, right? And we just specify right here, the animation event is in the inspector now. So right here, you just, uh, what did I call it? Explosion done, explosion done. Just hit enter, save that. No values have to be passed. No game objects have to be passed. It's just that. And that should call that explosion done function explosion done let me make sure it's named the same yep all looks good all right so that should be enough to test it out see if it works should at least be able to see the explosion if not there they are oh all right so we're getting some on animation explosion has not has no receiver. That's because we didn't actually, and you can see, yeah, they're, they're looping forever. So I didn't actually put the script on the, which one, the explosion? Um, yeah, the explosion prefab does not have the animation script, explosion animation to catch that function call, right? Let's go ahead and do that. And now our explosion should be able to kill itself. Whoa, I've never seen that before. If you draw or dispatch very expensive workloads to the GPU. Wow. All right, Unity. Um, does that mean that Unity is going to crash? Whoa, sorry about that. So. Unity crashed, and I think that's just because I was running a background process that was uh, eating up a good chunk of my GPU. I'm just going to try and confirm that by doing the exact same thing again, and hopefully it'll just act normal this time. Right, and there it goes, and the explosions are destroying themselves, and it's all good. And there, I'm blowing up ships, and we get to see cool explosions. There you go, crash course in explosions. Um... So yeah, that's the end of the series for real this time. If you liked the video, you know, it was something different, more or less just a, just a short, quick tutorial. Uh, if you like the explosion animation, that was courtesy of my wife. She'd been practicing her pixel art quite a bit. And of course, I'll include that in a new downloadable resource pack, as well as by this point, all the project files for the entire project that will be uh, downloadable. Links in the description, all the descriptions will have it. So as usual, Hope you enjoyed it. More coming soon. Subscribe if you haven't. See you then. Take care.